Before Maury Povich became a household name for his infamous TV paternity tests, there was another side to his story, a love story, with one of the most groundbreaking journalists of our time, Connie Chung. Together, they built an incredible life full of twists and surprises from their humble beginnings to their luxury homes. The couple mainly resides in a stunning Tudor-style mansion in Washington, which they reportedly bought for $9 million around 2009. Maury and Connie were living in New York for many years prior to moving into their 7-bed, 11-bath home, which borders Rock Creek Park in DC. Maury Povich, the iconic American TV host who debuted with The Maury Povich Show in 1991, redefined daytime TV with explosive family center drama. But long before he became notorious for delivering those unforgettable words, you are not the father. There was a quieter, more personal story behind the scenes. That story begins in Washington, D.C., where Maury met the woman who would become the love of his life, trailblazing journalist Connie Chung. Their journey together started in an unexpected way, with an awkward first encounter in the late 60s at WTTG-TV, a Washington TV station. Connie later recalled this moment in an interview saying, I would rip the wire copy off the machine and give it to Mr. Povich. He was very gruff and matter of fact. He never looked up. I kept thinking maybe someday he'll acknowledge that I'm a human being. At that time, they had no idea that five years later they would meet again, this time in Los Angeles. Connie, well, she'd become the big anchor at a CBS affiliate while Maury was her co-star. But things didn't go smoothly for him at first. Maury was actually let go from the network as part of downsizing which led Connie to feel sorry for him. The two dated on and off for seven years before finally committing to each other in 1984. Their love led them to start their lives together in New York City, where they moved into the iconic Dakota building in Manhattan. Considering that was over four decades ago, we don't know much about the apartment they lived in, but the building itself is known for not only housing other celebrities like Judy Garland, but for being the very spot where John Lennon was assassinated four years earlier in 1980. The only problem was Maury didn't really enjoy living in the big city all that much, and after 25 years, they finally decided to change things up. Connie joked before buying their Washington home, saying Maury jokes that I've kept him in a hostage in New York for the past 25 years. He's been hinting at wanting to move back to Washington for years. At the end of 2008, when Connie returned to Washington DC for her high school reunion at Montgomery Blair in Silver Spring, she decided to tour a home with her close friend and real estate agent, Nancy Taylor Bubbs. It just felt right, Connie said, of the 80-year-old Tudor-style house, which wasn't even officially listed at the time. Priced at just under $9 million, the property sits on a third of an acre and includes a pool and a koi pond. While the final sale price remained private, insiders suggest it sold for at least $8 million. Knowing how eager Maury was to return to Washington, Connie didn't have to persuade him too hard. After visiting the property himself, Maury quickly agreed it was perfect for them. This stunning home stands over 8,100 square feet of space with seven bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a music room, manicured gardens, and a rooftop terrace with views of the city. Back at the time of purchase, listing photos showed a regal interior that I'm sure the couple has updated since. Main living areas included a formal dining room with space for 10 or more guests, and a fireplace, a spacious kitchen, a sunroom, and more. Since moving into this mansion, Maury made the six hour commute from Washington to Connecticut twice a week to film his talk show, until he announced the end of his 31 year series. With retirement in full swing, Maury and Connie are likely to split their time between their Washington DC home and their beloved retreat in Montana. Along with their Washington DC estate, Maury Povich and Connie Chung also own a beautiful ranch just outside Big Fork, Montana, where they spend several months of the year. Maury, an avid golfer since childhood, enjoys the scenic landscapes and peaceful retreats the area offers. It's unclear exactly when the couple bought this property, but by 2006, Maury decided to deepen his connection to the area by purchasing a local newspaper, the Flathead Beacon, which serves Kalispell and Flathead County. The paper, distributed to around 
90,000 readers weekly was a tribute to Maury's father, a longtime sports writer for the Washington Post. However, the venture wasn't an easy ride. Maury shared with CNN that it took almost nine years for the paper to finally break even. Despite the challenges, the Flathead Beacon has thrived, receiving accolades like being called the best newsroom in Montana. In addition to the paper, Maury also acquired Flathead Living, a quarterly magazine showing the vibrant culture and lifestyle of the region. He even purchased a local marketing firm, merging it with the newspaper to create a one-stop shop for businesses, offering services like web development and social media consulting. Now that Maury is retired from his talk show career, he plans to spend more time enjoying Montana's natural beauty alongside his son, who also lives in the area. After checking out the properties of longtime couple Maury Povich and Connie Chung, that'll bring today's house tour to a close. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!